we learn in this week's episode of Lance No Masquerade that Sylvia is the sister of Yuriko, the main character's maid. Which could explain why she's able to make a dent in a wall with her bare fist. However, it seems to drain a lot of stamina because she um, collapses a few seconds later into Yochiro. And from the point of view where Saya is spying on them, it looks like they are like embracing in a romantic way because the way that Sylvia said that she wanted to talk with uh, Yochiro with, about something in private, it could sound like she was about to confess, confess her love and we know that Saya loves our main character so it is kind of understandable why she is spying on him but it's also kind of nasty especially since he gets jealous on it on uh, Sylvia. However she is getting punished for that in a way because she's getting captured by Yuyan who cannot come with to terms with uh, his boss Konjiro losing to uh, Yochiro in a fair battle because for, in his eyes or at least that's what I presume Konjiro is like an undefeatable force he's basically like an undefeatable opponent he cannot be defeated because if he is to be defeated then Yuyan has to consider that there's maybe people that it's can take stuff away from him and he don't want that. So I can understand Yuyan's trying to uh, like defeat Night Lancer. However, in doing so, he does some mistakes. But I will talk about them a little later because he actually, shall we say, calls, of course, he calls the Night Lancer from Sire's phone and tells him to come here because, yeah, else he will most likely kill Sire. And he also tells Saya almost that Yojiro is Night Lancer. So yeah, now Saya has like an idea that he, uh, Yojiro is most likely Night Lancer. However, the mistake Yuyan does are two mistakes. First of all, he tries to kill Night Lancer because, as we know, Yu Feng she sees Night Lancer as her daddy, and for this, actually, something really interesting, because we find out that Shifu he wasn't her daddy, not biologically. He was her master and she looked up to him because he was strong and she wanted to be strong like him. And she was informed that he died of an illness or died because he was sick. However, Yu Yan tells her basically in a snap that he was actually killed by Ban because he tried to betray Ban, which causes Yu Yan, Yu Feng to basically Go in, go like insane and try to kill her, kill uh, what's called Yu Yan. And if it wasn't for two things, one, what is it called? Sylvia basically taking like the sword to um, through her knee, and let me tell you, this way he she was stabbed. I really hope it's not wrong because if she was stabbed that way, she cannot. That can be really dangerous. She may not even be able to walk, but I'm pretty sure I, she, what's called Yu Feng, Yu Feng made a clean, like, you know, a proper one that wasn't deadly else. Yeah, it could be deadly or she could maybe lose the ability to walk on that leg or have pains afterward. And then Yuriko, because Yuriko, I already knew she was dangerous, but Man, she's pretty sick because she can turn the tip of her lance into like a whip, which basically makes it like impossible for Yuri, uh, Yu Feng to um, attack her. So yeah, that's pretty sick. Especially also when we see her like taking her to a cliff and almost killing her by having a fall to her death. However, Yochiro or Night Lancer, I must say, saves her. And he fights Yuriko and he dies. Oh, no, I shall not joke about that. He actually stands in a way where if you look at it, he could look like he was dead. And if, if the episode ended there, I would have thought he uh, was dead. But he, I think uh, Yuriko, from what I can understand, just stunned him so she could perform like uh, first aid on him. So yeah. So, it's, so Yuriko is pretty much really strong, but then again, we know that that because, yeah, 
We already know that she's strong because, like, everyone seems to be afraid of her. And I must say, it's funny how uh, Yu Feng actually becomes a member of the household because she is, uh, like, she's basically getting picked up by uh, what's called Makio because, uh, yeah, <laughs> she was told that uh, she was, as a face by Yu Feng, that she was Night and Lance's daughter. Which means that since uh, Ma Ma Makiko, she is the, the, like the wife of Nightlands, that would make her the daughter and then Makiko would be her mother. So yeah, it's a bit confusing. It's a bit confusing, I know. And I was also like, when people looked at it and they basically was explained how she became a, it, I, uh, basically a member of the household. I can understand why they did like, A ten when, let's say like this, Yuriko, she reveals that she she wasn't gonna kill Yu Fang. She was gonna punish her because she has been bad. And it's up to the mother to, like, reprimand her kid so it doesn't grow up and become spoiled or bad, you know, a, for a bad apple. And that's actually a really good lesson because a lot of people doesn't do that. And... Yeah, some would say that is actually the reason why we have this society. So yeah, <laughs> oh man. And we also get to see um, Shirohime in her human form. I'm still not sure if that's just like the, the animators doing this for fun or if she actually can take human form. I really want to know that because that is really a, really a thing I want to know. I really want to know that. So yeah. It looks like we will see you thing like more, and that's good because, in my opinion, she's better than Makio. She is a better lolly, in my opinion. But what is your opinion? I would actually like to know that. But all I have left to say now is have a good day, good night, wherever you are, and I will see you later with, you know, the three shorts, Hekadol, Kagavani, and Miss Monochrome. So, have a good day, good night, wherever you are. Cheers, guys. Or girls.